why good guys are boring, I think it's only fair I do a video on why girls love bad boys. It's the charm. Bad boys are very charming. Extremely charming. And they know women inside and out. Like, it's always the bad guys that be knowing exactly how to talk to you and exactly how to move with you. And bad boys honestly give you a challenge. Like, as much as people want to say, oh, it's toxic and this and that. Like, there's a certain level where, like, I feel like your partner should be able to challenge you. And I must admit, like, who doesn't love a good chase? Like, I think healthy chase is not so terrible. I don't think you should give everything all at once. That's what makes the relationship boring when you dump everything all at the beginning. But I also have to admit, it's ego. I think the more someone shows you that they don't want you, the more you want them. That goes for men and women. I don't know, there's just something about bad boys. It's like they know how to show you the right amount of what you need. But they're just damn right players. Do women really like bad guys? And why does it seem like the women go for the bad guys? Meanwhile, you're nice, respectful, and they go for the jerk. Okay, here's why. The bad guys don't care about the outcome of what's gonna happen. The bad guys don't care. So they come off as mysterious. You too can do these things. You have to do the inner work to realize that none of these interactions matter. Nothing means anything about you personally if she rejects you or if she accepts you. They don't have that. So women often choose this vibe because it's intoxicating to women. When a guy is really not caring about the outcome, it's it's liberating. It's almost like freedom. It's like you can taste it. It's It's like a vibe, not literally, but it's like a vibe. So the bad guys are doing that. And that's why you think women like bad guys. Women actually like nice guys with that inner clarity of not caring, guys that live their own life and do their thing. Does that make sense? What's good, everybody? This your girl, China White. And you just entered the lion's den with your girl China White. Grab your drinks, let baby girl light your cigar. See, so you are in for one hell of a night with your girl China White. Now, I want to talk about the bad boy, right? Because I think that I, I do a lot of content on the women that like bad boys, right? So let me just break down a couple of things. I have a live stream. I think I still have it up. Um, the good guy versus the bad guy. You can look on my channel. Even check Patreon. I talk about it a lot. The number one thing that women. The reason why women say they like bad boys. Because in their mind. They think that. Because you don't give a fuck. You are a bad boy. Do you understand what I'm saying? It doesn't mean you're a bad boy if you don't give a fuck. But that's what comes off to women. In our mind, what a woman thinks is that most men care too much. They care too much. So, I would do with a bad guy because he doesn't care. And that is a turn on. You know, this your girl try to white. You know, a, a guy not caring about the outcome of the relationship is a turn on but but it's only a turn on when i'm full of shit and you're not you're not gonna take my shit so you don't care and it's kind of like the bad boy already know what the deal is with women he accept that he accept that you're gonna be you and I'm not trying to change you and I'm not taking your shit so the bad boy in our mind is the guy that will say hey I'm not taking your shit I'm gonna walk away to us women it's kind of like oh my god I gotta chase him when a woman is chasing you she's calling you she's texting you she's begging you period I chase my man I don't see nothing wrong with letting him know that listen if i fucked up i made a mistake baby i'm sorry i'm sorry that's considered chasing to women 
that is considered chasing because you are willing to walk away and she wants a guy that's going to always stay there and doesn't really give us a challenge that's when we go for our husband that's when we go for the beta male that's when we go for the men that's more so understanding we look for that guy but the bad boy quote unquote and you may not be a bad guy but you know we put you in that boat as to being the bad guy we will deal with you until we get tired of following your rules because it comes a time a woman gets, she gets in this mindset that I don't have to follow your rules. I don't have to, you know, fall in line. I don't have to, you know, a woman gets gets tired of that. So that's when she goes out and look for the man that cares. The man that will chase. The man that will take our shit. That's the man that we settle down with. That's the man. We settle down with him because he's willing to work out, you know, if I'm talking bad to him, if I'm disrespecting him, if I'm being negative towards him, if I'm always moody, if I don't want to give him sex. Yes, we married those men. Yes. But, quote unquote, the bad guy, the bad guy is willing to walk away and move the fuck on. He is. And see, that guy right there, we will have fun with you. Yeah, we'll fuck you. Yeah, we'll chase you. But it's going to come a time she's going to be tired of that. And that's quote unquote in a woman's mind, the alpha male. The alpha male that can always get the kitty. Because we already know if we're dealing with him, we have to come correct. You know, he's not trying to change us. See, a man that's trying to change a woman is a man that's saying you know i don't want you to wear those clothes instead of the woman dealing with you and she know that you do not like your woman to wear those clothes so she changed for you see the other guy he will try to force her to change her clothes the bad guy is not going to force her to do nothing he's just going to walk away do you get what i'm saying it's like you're something to change for. You're something to chase. Because it's not about your money. It's not about your clothes. It's not about any. It's about your principle. The things, you, the things you're willing to take from a bitch. And then like with the bad guy. Him understanding women. Him understanding women is him accepting her for who she truly is. And not making her my wife not making her my girlfriend i'm not i'm not putting you in that position but if in your mind you think you in that position that's you that's not me that's his mindset his mindset is not to put her in no position he allows her to put her own goddamn self in a position and she believes that she believes her own dreams and fantasy and women are okay with that they are they are okay with being delusional about the man that they're chasing and he allows her to stay in that mindset because he accepts her for who she truly is if you understand what i'm saying so when we say or when people say the bad the bad boy it's not actually the bad boy the bad boy to me is a man that rob people go go to jail no women in our mind a man that's you know he's not taking my shit he's considered the bad boy that's that's the bad boy in our mind in a woman's mind but a lot of women are not going to tell men that because we do not want you to have the upper hand on us so you got these good guys around here now with these you know bad boy traits and that's getting one getting a one up on us because we fall hard the kitty get wet you know what i mean the kitty out juicy and whatever like we're not gonna really tell you that but we will tell you that we will do our actions and you're gonna know that because She's going to call you. She's going to text you. She's going to chase you. She's going to want you. She's going to desire you. 
because you're not taking her shit and you accept her for who she truly is and not giving her that position in your life unless that's earned that is why one of the reasons why women love the bad guy the bad boy i love y'all peace